So today we'll do integration by parts.
take away, right? Because when you multiply anything by one, it goes away. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So we're going to sign u to the x, and that means whatever is left over, the dv, is going to be e to the x. Okay? So you want to end up with a du and a v when you solve, solve this out. So we're going to make du equal to the derivative. Oh, sorry. This is e to the x dx. This really should have had a dx in it. Okay. So, yeah, well, can I have cities plus cities to go to the office? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Five is <laughs> down. I thought the office was closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that later. Everybody else, back up here, right? Okay, so we're taking the derivative of x, and we, like we said before, it's just 1 dx, or just dx. Now, if we take the derivative of e to the x, what did we say it was? We said it was the simplest derivative, and the de derivative of e to the x is? 1 dx. Okay, e to the x, good job. So, now you have all the parts of your formula, and you can pretty much solve this pretty easily. So, plug this into the formula, we say that our integral of u, which is x, dv, which we said is e to the x, so this is our original integral. Is this going to be on the test? Yep. Just pay attention. Wait, what's the test? It's to be announced. We'll talk about it later. Does that mean tomorrow? No, it means sometime in the future, which tomorrow is not tomorrow. Future. Tomorrow is in the future. Sometime in the not near future. But anyway, it's a good thing to understand this before you take your test, because you know it's coming up eventually. Alright, so we have our derivative, or integral of x e to the x dx, and we've used, since we've found all of these other uh, parts of the formula that we need, we can make u is x, v is e to the x, minus the integral of v, which is e to the x, and du, which is just dx. Now we've made this really complicated. <laughs> Where's your note? Hey. Where's your note? Oh, um, I don't have a great Okay, then why are you late? Um, I'll work there. You can't draw. You better uh, Yeah, I drove both of them. <laughs> well, after I got a little sick, so I had to take over. And I didn't know what I was doing with her. But I used calculus to try to fix it. I believe you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, we're back up here. We're back up here. We're not getting distracted. Wait, is there a quiz over this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, you end up with this much easier integral. We separated this integral into parts. Hey, integration by parts. Okay. So, like we said before, we have now to take the integral of e to the x dx. Now, we talked about this. What is the integral of e to the x? Yes. Yes. We've said this so many times. 1 to the x. Okay, yes. E to the y. Wrong. Why, where in this equation do you see a y? The big by part. Why? Well, if you don't see one, you can't make up one. The by, the by, the y, and by. It's just not there yet. It's not there yet? We have to put it in. Okay, well, if there's no y, you can't just come up with one. There's, there's I see a y. Kaylin, do you have an answer? It's e to the x. It is e to the x. Good job. So, yes, we take the integral of e to the x, and we end up with just e to the x. Do we remember what we add to the end of an integral after we take it? It's e to the x plus? Pi? No. One. No. Well, maybe. But it's the last thing. It's a letter, guys. Why? See, good job. Okay. So we end up with x e to the x minus e to the x plus c. Okay. So the super complicated. Yes, yeah, Shane. Can we go outside now? No. Because this is so complicated. That's saying you haven't learned it yet. You haven't fully grasped it. Well, at the end of the year, when you master calculus. Wait, I don't, I don't get it. It's so long. You, you don't get it? Well, that's okay, because we'll keep talking. Okay. Yes? I've mastered calculus. Can I go outside? Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, since you answered from um, most of this, I doubt that, so. Ding, 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 okay, ding, okay, ding, ding, ding.
What is your name, dear? I call. And are you in Miss uh, Sinha's calculus class? Yeah. Do you think you've learned a lot this year? Yeah. What do you think of her as a teacher? Um, she's um, she's a wonderful, charming teacher. Oh, that's nice. Did you get an A in the class? Probably. <laughs> What's your name, dear? Ellen Dresdenberg. And uh, are you in uh, Miss Sinha's calculus class? Yeah. I, I noticed that you walked in late and she didn't say anything. Does that happen a lot? Yeah. She, do you think she didn't notice or does she just gives you favoritism? I don't think she sees me because I'm smaller than Kamala. Okay, what kind of grade have you got in that class? A. You have an A? Yeah. And what, what do you think you got in the AP exam? Five. Really? Okay. To what do you contribute that? <laughs> what? To what do you contribute your success? My tutor is Cancy. Aw, that's nice. Um, hi, what's your name? Greg. I, I heard that you were in Miss Sinha's calculus class. Is that true? I think. You think you are? Well, yeah, because I noticed that your name was in her book, but but you weren't in the class. Uh, I visited several times, and you were never there. Where, where were you? I think I was in chemistry. You, you were in chemistry, but you were supposed to be in calculus? Yeah. Did you learn any calculus this year? I think a bit. How did, how did you do that? Uh, I think I through osmosis through my textbook. Oh, what did you? How did you do that? Did you put Sleeping it under? On it. Ah, I see. Okay, what do you think you got on the AP exam then? Probably a five. Okay, you've got confidence. I'll tell you that. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Um, are you in Miss Neha's calculus class? Yes. What's your name? Ricky. And uh, how you doing in there? Uh, pretty good. Getting A's. Really? Yeah. Well, um, I was there the other day filming, and and you weren't there. Where were you? Um, probably in home in bed. At home in bed. Okay, does that happen very often? Um, usually I'm just late to class, but I was tired, so. Did, did you, uh, did you think, uh, Ms. Uh, Sinha was a good teacher? For the most part, she was a decent teacher. Yeah, and so how are you going to do on the AP exam? I'd like to say I'll get a five. Okay, so you're a very confident person, aren't you? I try to be. Okay, well, thank you for, uh, taking time to talk to us today. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that you once used uh, calculus to drive a school bus. What, what, what's the story on that? Oh, yeah, so um, I was running late one day, and I decided to catch the regular city bus to come past my house. I said, the bus driver got sick. So since I'm the only one with experience driving a bus, I decided to hop on and do something, except I didn't know what I was doing driving that bus, and I actually broke one of the switches, and the bus just stopped working. Oh, and we were driving down a hill. But I used calculus to determine how fast we were going down the hill in order to make the bus stop, except that didn't work, and we crashed into the diner at the bottom of the hill. Oh, that, that's too bad. Uh, that, is this a true story? Um, maybe. <laughs>